Hey guys, Andy from Critical Bits here. This is our guide for using a gamepad to play flash games with Joy 2 Key. Joy 2 Key is a free program. We can find a link to download it on Critical Bits our games arcade page. Right here at the top, we've got a link for Joy 2 Key. So that's where you find that. Go ahead and close that. Run Joy 2 Key as an administrator. Right click, run as administrator. Yes, 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 allow that. Okay, once it loads here, we're going to start off by creating a profile for Mario Crossover 2. Okay, Mario Crossover 2. Here are the button inputs. Ones on the left correspond to your gamepad, and ones on the right are your keyboard. So, first thing we need to do is to figure out what the controls are for the game that we're playing. Let's go back to the Critical Bits Games Arcade. Go ahead and find Mario Crossover 2. There it is. Okay, let's let that page load there. Alright, so the controls, as you see here, we have, you know, jump attack, alternative attack, pause, switch weapons, and it's the arrow keys that we use to move. So, let's switch over to a different chart momentarily. If you go back to the charts page on Critical Bits, right at the top of the list we have this Joy 2 Key How to Use a Gamepad with Flash Games guide. And on this page, you will find these images. So, depending on which controller type you're using, these are a couple of the most popular ones for PC gaming, Xbox 360 controller and PS2 controller. The button setups are slightly different, but primarily the same. The D-pad for either of them is unlocked with this, I don't go to preferences here on Joy2Key, this box right here, use POV switches, opens up these POV options here. If you go back to preferences, use axes other than X and Y. That opens up all these extra buttons as well. Now the axis X and Y buttons are for example right here, the left and right shoulder buttons or the <coughs> analogs on an Xbox controller. In this case we're not going to need them, so I just want the use POV switches button checked so that I can use the D-pad for my game. So, let's go back to the controls for Mario Crossover 2. Pull up Joy 2 key again. Alright, so that air case to move. So, POV up, right, down, and left. These buttons here are the D-pad on the controller. So, let's map them to what the arrow keys would do on the keyboard. So double click here for POV up, and this cell that's highlighted automatically is the one that we want to change. So press up on your arrow key since this is POV up as you can see, and arrow up is now mapped to that function. And POV right, the same thing, down and left. Okay, so now we have mapped the D-pad buttons. Scroll down a little bit more. We have buttons 1, 2, 3, 4 on down. Now, <clears throat> I like to make the attack in this game the square button on a PS2 controller, which is button 4. So let's map button 4 to attack, which is X. Alright, I like to have a little bit of flexibility with my jumps. I want to make it either triangle or X, which is 1 or 3. So let's make jump, which is Z, both button 1 and 3. Alright, let's make alternative attack, circle, or button 2. There you go. Now the other two controls that we have are pause and switch weapons. Sounds a lot like start and select to me. So select would be button 9 on a PS2 controller. So let's make that tab to switch weapons with select. 
and then button 10 would be pause, so let's make button 10 escape. All right, so these are our buttons mapped out all nice for us here. So now what you want to do is keep joy 2 key running. So just go ahead and minimize this here. And then you need to reload the flash game after we have those buttons configured. So let's let that load. Just click inside the flash game here anywhere to activate that. And voila! I'm using a gamepad to play Mario Crossover 2. Very cool. Well, there you have it, guys. That's Critical Bits Guide for using a gamepad to play Flash games with Joy 2 Key.